Hey fellow back air bowyers, Nick here, and today I'm going to be forging a spork out of rebar. I'm starting off with a piece of 3 8 inch rebar. This is about 8 inches long, and we're going to be forging it into one of these. So let's get started. Let's fire up the forge. Let's get forging. I'm going to start out by flattening about two inches of the end. And now I like to use a cross peen or the edge of the anvil to widen it out. Now I use a hammer with a rounded face. And now I'm just going to widen it out a little bit more. So now that the blank is forged flat, I'm going to go ahead and use my grinder to grind everything down to shape. Now for this spork, I want the front to be a little bit wider than the back because what I'm doing is making effectively a small spoon with extensions as opposed to a normal dimension spoon with cutouts. That way this spoon will hold just a little bit more liquid than if it were more along these lines. Now to shape the bowl of the spork, I'm going to be using this form that I made out of a piece of hickory for making spoons. What I did was I took a piece of scrap hickory, I carved a bowl shape out using a knife, and then I formed a spoon in here hot while this was dry. That gave me my impression, and every time I use this I make sure to keep it damp, that way the wood doesn't burn as quickly. So you can use this form for a long time before needing to switch it out. So now we can start cutting in the tines. So now I'm going to cut the tines with my angle grinder. I'm not going to be very deep, about 3 eighths of an inch deep on each one. Now I'm going to throw this back in the forge, let it heat up, and then I'm going to wire brush it, make sure I get all the scale off, and then I'm going to throw it in this oil to give it a nice oxide finish. Here's the spork all finished up. 
I hope you enjoyed building this along with me today, and if you have any suggestions for other things you'd like to see me build, please let me know in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing, be sure to check out my channel for other videos like this, and I've also written several books on different topics, and I'll put a link to those in the description below. And before I go, I'd like to thank everyone that's helping out on Patreon. It's because of your support that I'm able to continue doing videos like this. And if you'd like to join the Patreon family, I'll put a link in the description below. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!